Actually, I know now everyone's so tired. But uh, I don't know if the Ecotech will be so interesting, so I hope everyone will enjoy to learn how to use Ecotech. <laughs> Actually, we start again to do some uh, introduction about the Ecotech. So as I mentioned, the Ecotech is a sustainable software analysis. He used the analysis of the building performance. And actually, as we mentioned before, it's target the earliest stage of the building. So you can cover everything about the energy efficient and about the building performance until the end of the project. So actually, as I mentioned before, the Ecotech was developed by PhD thesis and as at University of Western Australia. After that, the Ecotech was acquired by the Autodesk in June 2008. So, and become one of part of the, a lot of the software that the Autodesk uh, provided. Uh, this picture shows that the Dr. Andrew March, who developed uh, the Ecotech. Actually, this one the picture is in Welsh School of Architecture. Uh, actually, why is developed? Uh, the Ecotech was developed to assess the architects and particularly emphasize them on creating energy efficient and sustainable design. Um, now become this software one of the leading software for sustainable design in the world, behind a lot of the IES for integrated environmental solution design and a lot of many, 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 uh, many uh, software design. Actually, who use this? Uh, most of the use the Ecotechs are architects and professional design, because Ecotechs offers a lot and a range of the suite of tools assessing the aspect of the design. And actually, we will return back to the first point: is was it was written and developed by the architects and engineers. So we can understand that mean is actually just for architects and engineers, and using just the purpose of them for aiding the design process. Why it's computer simulation? Actually, simulation, as I mentioned before, is a process of developing a simplified model of a complex system and using this model to of analysis to predict the behavior of the original system. Actually, you can see the, from this uh, funny comics, uh, now the people towards become more uh, believer on the computer simulations. So can you see the patient with the doctor? Actually, he say that I have already got the diagnosis from the computer simulation, but I thought I'd see you for a second opinion. So he trusted to see the computer simulation more the doctor. So just covered for, the, for this one. Actually, why we simulate? We simulate because it's so difficult to do it on the real situation. And it's so hard because it costs a lot of time, it costs a lot of money. And actually, it's possible to develop a model that can be used to predict the behavior on the real system inside the computer. Uh, actually, also we can mention that the simulation used for study, predict, and for evaluate, and for test and respond to the variety of the strategies. That's what the main aims that can do the Ecotech can do. Actually, Ecotech, if you want to understand it, is that provide a lot of range of the simulation for building energy analysis for existing building and for building design. One of these uh, th simulations that can provide is a thermal, solar radiation, energy analysis, shadows and reflections, acoustics and daylighting. So it's covered on these topics. So if you go to the thermal performance, what the Ecotech can provide is can calculate the heating and cooling loads for model to analyze uh, the effects of the occupancy internal uh, gains, infiltration, and equipments. And also the effect of the solar radiation. So it can feel more the effect of the solar radiation on the model. So it's more can touch or more can you can see. And actually also the daylighting. You can calculate the daylight factor, the illuminance, at any point inside the model. So it will be now very clear for anyone. It's actually a lot of tired of, we take a lot of effort to do it by manual one, but by computer will be uh, more, you can say, more interesting. And actually you can learn more and more, I can just understand each point. Actually, also the acoustic design. The acoustic design that's main, or the, the main things that uh, Ecotech is interested in is how can to calculate the reverberation, the, the sound decay. This one's so important. And actually, also, you can see how the Ecotech can, uh, the sound inside the Ecotech can move as rays, or can move as uh, reflectors, or a lot of things. So provide a lot of information. And the most important things, I think, for this topic is about the shadows and the reflections. So 
at the ecotech we can understand the sun position, uh, sun position um, and the model at any time for day, actually day for 24 hours, for a month, and especially for one year, for a whole year. So, so clear to know how the effect of the shadows of the windows or the shadows of the shading devices of the buildings, if you want to know how the effect of buildings, high-rise building on the residential building on the other things. And actually also at the end, he can calculate a lot of the information about the energy. So we can know about the green gas emissions and about the cost also and about everything that so you can put it inside the Ecotect. He will work, it will work as a one think and give you a lot of information. So actually there's some figures that show how can we use the Ecotech and what the, the data analysis can be get and all what the data analysis can be generated from the software. So actually kind of that's always interesting things because a lot of things you can understand now and you can see the effect of the sun the second thing is the effect of the daylight analysis, solar radiation, the effect of solar radiation if you do it for the urban area and actually also the overshadow or the sun rays or the actually also the thermal analysis inside the building. Actually, now I want to mention about some studies has been done before by the Ecotect. Ecotect, as I mentioned before, is, has been for a long time, before 2008, before that the Ecotec, uh, Autodesk occurred the software. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. So the studies that have been done in different places on the board. So one of the places that can be done, this one of the study have been done on the, I think the conference of the passive and low energy architecture in Dublin. Actually, this one effect on the influence of thermal and thermal mass in the facade, on the thermal behavior of the residential uh, building in the Mediterranean climate. So Mediterranean climate surrounds Italy, Spain, and all these uh, places. Actually, there's a lot of studies has been done here in Malaysia by the University of UTM for postgraduate study. Actually, this one is the impact of the solar radiation on high rise build form in tropical climate. Other one is tropical building design principle for comfort, com for comfortable indoor environment. So this just a several of these studies because there's a lot of studies. So now this kind of figures to show what the Ecotech can do. The Ecotech actually is started from the first, as I mentioned before, for existing building. This actually study has been done for existing building. So they take a building, residential building. After that, they choose one unit as apartment. After that, they did take the, just the facade. And they take all the layers inside the facade. And they did the comparison between lightweight and heavyweight. So now, if you know the difference between lightweight and heavyweight, this will affect more in the cost you will lose the different materials, and also it can affect us on the thermal comfort. So all of studies that's done this before. So actually, when you do this study on the uh, Ecotech, you have to key in a lot of the information, but it's not so confused. It's just about the thickness, conductivity, density, specific heat. These uh, terms are kind of the physics terms and related to the building materials. So I think for architectural students, everyone should know about the simple things about the, all these uh, uh, properties of, build, uh, of materials. And actually also you know after they put all the key, all the information, one of the, the I guess me, information has been generated is that I can say heating, cooling, load, demand, you can see the comparison between heating and cooling, and the lightweight, heavyweight, and they're using other heavyweight. So they did the comparison between them and they can see what's the difference. It will be and the cost will be on the thermal uh, comfort is though much different or not. And also here we can see also the comparison between lightweight and heavyweight, heating and cooling loads for the flat, and can you see is by kilowatt per hour. So this one, if you want to estimate it or know the amount of the energy that's been used during one hour. And actually also you can see here the thermal distribution. Uh, here's uh, another study has been done here in Malaysia. Uh, actually is a show the effect of the actually of the model. How can the model from different direction has a different impact of solar radiation? Actually, solar radiation has to know that is a kind of electro electromagnetic radiation coming from the sun. And this is a kind of the power or energy that has also tried the building and it has a lot of the energy. So that's been causing this all electromagnetic radiation or the uh, solar radiation change from the light to the heat. 
So when they heat the building, it will change also the, the system of the method of the heat calculation from the system of the solar radiation to the conduction or convection or radiation. So all these will play an important role in the design. So they can touch all these things. And actually, he gives a different, uh, different way that if he ch changed the model, can we reach to different things? What's the effects? Because the shading, when doing changing the model, the shade will be so important and will affect on the model of the design. Actually, before we go, this one also I want to show you. Oh, okay. Actually, it wasn't the other one. Okay, no problem. Actually, uh, I just want to show you some work that I have done before, but I think it was in the other computer, so no problem for this one. So, to start with the ecotect, before we start with the ecotect, we have to know that ecotect needs a weather data. What's the mean of the weather data? That's all the information of the weather. That's mean for the uh, dry, uh, dry pulp temperature, relative humidity, wind direction and wind speed, and that's mean the, also the clouds, cover, and the rainfall. So all these important inside the ecotech to use before. So before we're doing with the ecotech, we have to know that all this information can be get from any airport station or from any metrological station. When I mentioned about the airport or metrological station, that means each area here, say in Malaysia or in different places in the world, they have these data. And actually, all this data has been collected for a long time. So it's not the band that's mean for, for one year. Actually, as I say here in the Malaysia, they depend on the 20 years. So they take the average of 20 years. Because now we're facing the problem of the global warming, so it cannot depend on the one year. Some of the years will be around so, so uh, it's too high. Other years will be not um, so, high, uh, so hot or something like this. So cannot depend on the one year. It had to depend on a lot of the average of many years. So actually, if you want to do it for the ecotech, it doesn't matter to be, that's mean, near to your site or exactly in your site. can be around the site with the 2, 3 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, because actually it's so difficult to get for all the, all the data for all the sites here. So actually, to do this one, to collect all the information, uh, the ecotech using the uh, extension for weather files is WEA. And this file is so important to put it and install this ecotech. Actually, when you download the ecotech, I think the most of you can see there's a lot of the weather file. I don't know if anyone checked that see there's a lot of weather file in their computer or not. Have anyone checked for the ecotech or not? Actually, for the weather data, if you want to do, go to the, to to download or to open the climate files inside the software, there's a lot for climate data for the, I can say for USA, for Germany, for Italy, for a lot of the parts of the world, Australia, UK, and different places. Um, but actually also we need to know that, I mean, we have to ha take the last updated of this all inf information about the weather data. So the weather data can find it on the website of US Department of Energy. So US Department of Energy is a, as now it's considered as the big and the most important uh, leadership for the simulation and for building design in the world because they are more concerns about or more are they um, about the, actually is about the energy uh, energy efficiency so if you can go to the website that's that mentioned that uh, actually apps one dot I don't know if you can copy all this information I can go to the Google and search the weather files so just type the weather files. After that, I think this link will be the first one that you can see. So after you open this link, I don't know if you want to take a time to, to write this one. I can go directly to the Google. Actually, after that, if you go to the website, I think it's better to you. So as I mentioned before, in this website, you can find a lot of the uh, weather file data for all over the world. And in Malaysia, I think they're more focused on the four, four cities. Is it KL and Penang? Uh, I don't know the other two cities. So you cannot find for the other ones because this one has to be supported by the, I think by the government. Because this one, the project to calculate all the weather file has been done before, I think, 10 years. Because they're using a different software called Energy Plus and there's Energy 10. All this was occurred by 
the U.S. Department of Energy. So, as I mentioned before, is the leader for the computer simulation in the world now. So they they are now using this system of the file, actually. So I think now we can go to see. This is the website of the Energy Plus. After that, you can see the energy simulation software. After that, you can just go directly to the Southwest Pacific, because Malaysia is a region five. After that, you can see this just on this region. On this region is just Australia and Fuji and Malaysia. I say this is Malaysia. So after you go to the Malaysia, you see just four cities. So just these four cities now in Malaysia. They have to provide it by the energy, energy plus or energy simulation softwares. Actually, it's all information has to be supported by the meteorological station. So now if you can say about the Kuala Lumpur, that's mean for the airport. Airport for the, I don't know which one, the KLA or the old one is LCCT. Actually, one of them have supported this information and also for the Georgetown for different places. So, before we can use the Ecotect, at first we have to understand the meaning of the weather data. Okay, I don't know the weather data, but I don't know what's this. Maybe it's, it's so complicated to understand because it's a kind of the a group of the information together. So at first, before I go, I have to go to the weather manager. Actually, when you install the Ecotect, this program will install directly on the package of the Ecotect. It's called, the, it's called weather management. So if you want to go to do the weather management, oh, I think weather manager, sorry, for this one. Actually, okay, later we can go. It actually show the, the program can show like this. So I can give you the location of the data, the wind data, the hourly data. This one so shows the hourly data. So you can see different kind of the, or different types of the uh, information that can get from temperature to the humidity, wind speed, direct solar radiation, diffuse, or different different things you can actually can see it. But uh, anywhere there's a major, okay. So the important hourly data that, uh, as I mentioned before, the Ecotex interest, is just the dry bulb temperature, relative humidity, solar radiation, wind speed, wind direction, cloud cover, and rainfall. So this one's so important. But actually for the rainfall, is there's no information, no data on the, inside this uh, file. So this one of the problem. So actually if you want to go to the weather manager and do all these things, at first we have to open it. So after download this for one for KL, this one for Kuala Lumpur, yeah. After that, I have to unzip this one or extract it to this place. So as you see, can there's different types of extensions. This one is DDY and EPW and STAT, but the Ecotect using WEA is a different format. So it's very important to go to the weather manager first and open the weather manager. You can go to directly to the Start, after that you say, I think it's already, yeah, already used before. And uh, I think to go, because I want to show you the Autodesk, yeah, Autodesk, after Autodesk, Autodesk 11. So you can see there's a lot of programs here. One of the programs is Weather Manager. So I hope until here there's no questions, or is there any question about this topic? Everything is okay or need to explain more about this one? Okay, continue. So actually when you go to the weather manager and I open the weather manager, here you can see directly a lot, a lot of information for different places on the world. So you can say here for Australia and for Canada, for Germany, for the China. So if you go to press for anyone for Australia, like this in Melbourne, just a press, double click. So you can see all the information about this one. So this one can give you of the, the city name. I think, yeah, name of the city. After that, they give you the time. So which time and all the latitude and longitude. Because actually, the uh, Ecotec is so important to identify the longitude and latitude and the design. After that, you can go to the wind data. So you can see, uh, see the wind data. So when you're doing the design, you have to know what's the direction that's more important to do it with it. And actually also the hourly data that I actually mentioned before. You can see the difference of this one has been done. 
is the band and weekly data and all this you can show in the 3D graph. So now when you do this one, you have to go and open our file desk, KL file. I think this one is desktop. You go to the other file, KL. So WEA cannot find it. So you have to just list this one. After that, go to the EPW. So we find EPW, and I have to import all the file. Say import file. Because you can see there's a lot of information get here. So I there on port file. So when you import file, now everything changed. Now become this all the data for, for KL. After that, I go to save this file as WEA. So I can save it for the KL. So now I don't the, do the hourly data. Can see that the temperature range Everything has been different. It's not the same. After that, I close this one and go straight to, to the software. Actually, the using of the software is so friendly. It's not so difficult. And just need to understand some idea or some points that's be so important. So at first, there's actually, I, I think that lots, most of you are using uh, AutoCAD or 3D Studio Max, all the software that's using by the Autodesk. So actually the same. They have the same concept. But here in the Ecotech is different because they're using actually more easily and it's more clear to doing with the sketching things is not to do the design as a real. So the important things that you do with here in the Ecotech is depend on the zone. The name of the zone, the meaning of the zone is a close box because this one is so important. You can just open the closed box just if you want to open the door, window, and the holes just in Ecotect. If you import them from different one, you have to import it as a box. Because this one, you do any thermal calculation, you have to close it. So that means will not be any, any effect. And there's another of the, I can say, options that you ask you. You want it to be leaking or want to be uh, appropriately tight or something like this. So this one will become later. But at first, the concept is zone. Second thing is all the information, all the model inside the Ecotect is a planar surfaces. So when you do the walls or you do the ground floor, do the ceiling, you do the roof, is a planar surfaces. You cannot see, just the planar surfaces. So actually, if you want to just show about the Ecotect, this is the main tool, toolbar. You can see it all up. It's the same like file, edit, view, draw, select, uh, many of the things you can do. Oh, this one is a calculation. So at first, you have a two sides. We have a right and we have a left side. Actually, if you want to start it with the left side, so if you have to enter or the key in all the information about the project. So we can see from the, from the left side, they have this one. Uh, sorry. Uh, they have her for project, and they have for editor, and for, for visualize, and for analysis, and for reports. So actually, the first things we have to do is project. So you just key in all the information that you want about the name or the title, and also, uh, you have to specify your latitude and longitude. Longitude. This one's so important. So that means you can identify your place. You can go to buy find to do it and select the area, or you go to buy the map. So it will link directly with the Google. So the Google Earth directly can go and to the the the, screen, the the side that you want, and actually just when you press that, you can enter or key all the information about the latitude or longitude. After that, also you have or you should do the north. So we can know what the side of the north for the toward the building. After that, the local turn. Local turn is so important. When you're doing thermal analysis or doing something with the air movement, you have to know this. The model that you are designed is an urban area, ruler area, or is in suburban. All this will affect because the effect of the temperature, it will be closed, it will be not open. So all this information also will affect. So you can see exposed, or ruler, suburban, or urban. I, I, I don't know. Everything. I hope that everything is clear until now. And I don't know if I have any question because this one we will we will get it one by one. So everything. I hope everyone can understand this one. I know everyone is tired, and I'm really sorry we spend a long of time to just to do the computer. I'll do all the data show, but uh, I think it's, everything is okay until now. No question. Okay. So the second tab you can do it is the editor. 
editor actually will return to the basic AutoCAD options or tabs. Is you can see is um, selected move or the for the uh, this one transform this one for the measure or the scale this one for points for line. I think it's better to mention yeah. This one for select for transform for measure for point for line for surface or just a plan surface for parti uh, partitions and for zone. This one will be so important when you're doing the design on the architect. After that, you can do it by the roof, if you want to put a roof. Different kind of roof can be also seen later as a pitch roof or um, glaive roof or different kinds. After that, you can see here for the lighting, for the sound. This one for the camera view, the visualization. Later, we can go to the other tabs. This one for the uh, all, all the implements that we can do it. This one is for window or door or holes, all these things. So a lot of uh, buttons you can try later to do with it. So we want to do first, uh, actually, as I mentioned before, so I go directly to do with the zone. Zone does mean you can identify on the, your grid, and you can start to draw it at any place. Actually, before this one, I think is a most important things, I don't know the others, when you download the software, you have to set the preferences. The preferences is so important. What I mean by the preferences, that means the units or the system that's using inside it. So when you go to the file, after that we can go to the user preferences. After that we can see there's a lot of tabs for general modeling. Actually, don't bother a lot yourself about these things because it's so complicated and no need to use it inside the design. Actually, we go to the localization, and from the localization setting, we can identify what the system that we are going to use. So if you want to use the decimal system or US standard or different kind of materials, of different kind of the measurement, sorry. So if you go to the decimal, also you can select the millimeters, meters, or a lot of things. So all this one, I think, should be explained or should be clear for this. Actually, also, you want to do the snap things, like the AutoCAD. So you have to identify, you can get the center, the midpoints, the points, elegance, everything. Also, you can do it from the steps, is the preferences. So after we setting everything here, and before we doing this one, I think it's better to know this meant the climate effects. So actually, to finish with the longitude, and with this one, go to the climate, because the climate will be the first things we have to install on the, uh, in the ecotect. So we can use the climate from two ways, maybe from this button or maybe from the model button. So this button is so important. The other button you can see from the, from the model. So you can set the time location. After that, you can come out use this one as you like. So load water files. When you press directly, you can see a lot of the cities and a lot of different places. But actually, we are not using this one. I don't know, just in case, you can use it, there's M4KL, but actually if there's any updated from the website, I'm using the other one that we get from the website because it will be this one updated, uh, updated information. So at least I think this one can find it at the desktop, weather file, go to the KL. Now this is the weather that we change it, save it on the weather manager. Before, we change it from EPW extension to WEA. So this file is WEA. When after I press this one, say, OK. It will tell me that the climate data successfully loaded. So that's me. OK, no problem. Yes. So now you can start to do your model so easily. So when you do the model, now you can do it directly with the sun direction, or sun position, with the thermal analysis, everything. So before we do this one, we have to do our model. So you can do the model in many ways. You can import in some files from uh, SketchUp, from Revit, from 3D Studio Max, or from different, uh, I think, uh, different program software you can use this one. But the most things that I should tell you that you have to use as a box is a close. Even if you're doing for the, an AutoCAD and you're drawing like the DXF, it's just a plan, you have just to do it or extrude it like a zone. So what's the meaning of the zone? Zone, that's mean if you go to the zone one, and you can identify, so you can see here from the, you can select the place that you want to do it by the DX or DY or the Z, and you can choose any area, just to press at any place. After you press, you can see there's a first planar surface, is the wall, the first wall that we do. Actually, you can do it everywhere in all direction. 
And actually, you can also put the or key in the, the dimension that you want. Actually, for the easy things, we can use it. Just we follow the grid. After the grid, we select our second point. After that, we go to select third point. This one, you have three walls. After that, you can return back or you can press escape key on the keyboard. So when you press escape, or actually also you can just with right uh, click, you can also see, see escape. So this escape is actually well closed and will ask you for the name of the zone. Because it's supposed to be the zone for room number one, room number two, room number four. A, a lot of rooms you can uh, do it by this one. So actually this one is zone for number one. Now as you see, is a planner surfaces. Everything is planner, but inside the ecotext, you see it like this, but all the information that are in it, that means every wall has a different thickness, different materials, and also for the ceiling of the ground floor. But you see here just the planner surfaces. So this one is actually doing just to understanding the meaning of the simulation. Because there's a lot of the simulation now they're doing, especially for the professionals, it just you have to key in the information about all this, but you cannot understand mean what is the model that you are doing. So in the ecotech, he do the parallel, he do the visualization and do the key in of the information at the same time. So anything you are doing for the size of the walls, for the windows, for the doors, you can directly see on the all the information generating. So one this one of the advantage to using ecotech. So actually after we finish, take this one. We can play with the height from, so we go to the other right side. So the right side, we call the first tab. So also there is a lot of tabs from the right side. The right side, it got this one, the selection information. Our, the select, selection information, actually you can play with the zone. So if you go to the third one, exclusion vector, on the Z, you can also play with the height. So if you want it like, now it's origin, I think, three meters. If you want to do it by six meters, you can see it's done. But all these things are supposed to be before you adding any windows, any doors, anything. So you specify all the dimensions, all the height, everything. After that, you can go to do your work. So this one, actually, a lot of things that if we want to do with the selection information, you can try. But this one, one of the important things. Actually, the using with the ecotext is so friendly because now, during the, my work, I can actually rotate the, and zoom in and use it all inside in the, in the mouse. So in the right click, is different from the SketchUp or the other things. So directly, I can rotate it or can see from different views. And also, more friendly, there's different, tab, different keys on the computer can say for uh, I don't know if they got here, F5, F5, F6, F7, F8. Here's a different, cannot see it here. So you can press, press F6 directly to the, go to the front side, or the F7 at the side, and go to F8, return back to the 3D model. So, or we can go to the view. After that, you can see it, plan, F5, and view, you can see, go again to the side, and also we can, if you want to add anything front and perspective. So actually it's a friendly to use it and it's not complicated. Now we have to understand that, okay, before to do anything else, we have uh, to know that there's two things. There's a parent's object and there's child objects. The parent's object actually is the walls, is the zone itself. Walls, the floors, the, all the ceiling, all the, la all the, um, the roofs. And the child object is the Windows, doors, and holes, all of these things. So if you want to add anything on these things, like say for the window, you can select one side from your room and you can insert any one of them. So at this side, we can use for this one, okay, the side of the ball. I want to insert a window. So the window, you can see it different places. We can see at this side, there is a windows, doors, holes, everything. Or can also we can see from this place. Or also we can go to use it by right click on the surface of the wall surface and go down to the insert. So and insert it will ask you what do you want to do? Window, void, or 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 the panel or the door. So if I want to say like window. Okay. 
Actually, directly, he will, you will go directly to the surface and just specify a point that you want. Or actually, also, you can put our key and all the information in the up on the all this one. So if you can say, select the, the window at this place. But actually, I'm not sure about this one. So I can't change the view directly. I don't need to escape. So I go to the site. You can see here from here. And it will give me information about the dimension directly. So three meters. OK, do it by one meters and a half, uh, 5,500 millimeters. After that, you come directly to see what's the height of the window. Three meters, five, like this. After that, you can return back. It will ask you for the close. I say, OK, no problem. Yes. After that, you press escape. So when you press escape, again, to go to the view perspective. You see now, we have a window. So to see actually more how can the Ecotect rendering this model, we can go to the other tab. The other tab is Visualized tab. So it's kind of rendering. When you press it, it will ask you about OpenGL. You can say yes. This one has happened just for the first time. I think our friend didn't use the <laughs> Visualize before. So it's press yes. After that, you can see. So you can see the window. You can see everything is a close. So the visualize here you can understand more. It's better than this one. And actually later I can show you how much the, a lot of the things you can do it with the rendering. So return back to the editor. Same at the side. Now the other side I want to insert the, you can see, door. Also insert, go to the door. And actually also you can select the direction, or the dimension, go to the side. Now the side, go to the front. So also, say for 2, OK, make it 3 meters. Actually, it's a 2 meter. Also, you're playing with the, after that, like this one. I just want to draw. OK, actually, have, I think from the first, we should know this one. OK, and delete it so easily. Return back to the view, perspective. From here, you can also select. Or can come to this area door, can just press so that view, just the front. You can see the view from this side. So regarding of the dimension, just we want to construct a door. So close. I see. Yes. After that, again, return to the view, do the perspective, go to the visualize. You can see there is a door. Actually, so easy. And there's a lot of partitions. If you want to do partition, that's mean from this area to this side. Now there is a partition inside. Also, we can go to visualize. You see, just a partition. So if you want to divide the partition inside, so just delete the partition things. So all this is a part of. If you return back to the to the right side of the tab, there's other tabs called the zone management. So actually, the zone management is so important later on the. Th Thermal analysis. So actually, it's a, like the AutoCAD, all the layers. You have to change the color. If you want to change the color of the, you can say this one, change the color of the, of the room. You can also turn off, turn on. And the third one, I think this one most important, is the thermal T. T1 does mean if it's on, that's mean using to do the calculation for thermal analysis. If it's not like the up outside, that means you can use it for the thermal analysis. Actually, you can add a lot of zones. If you want to add a zone, you can enter any name. You can say for room two. Actually, for room two, you see, there's the thermal analysis. If you do any object under the room two, cannot be calculated in thermal analysis. So this one is important. Uh, I think there's a lot of things also. You can do with any zone by the right click. You can see there's a lot of options. Actually, you can play with all the options, but the most important option is the zone properties. This one we can come back later to check it because there's a lot of things affected with the daylighting and affecting with the thermal analysis. So I prefer to come later about this one. I hope that everything now is OK. Is there any question for this part? Or is it so confusing? Or you want to return to do it one by one?
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is okay or the thing is a fast flow or do you want to me to slow or you want me to Yeah. Uh, no, actually if you use the wall because I uh, mentioned before the ecotech uses that zone. So if you want just one part of the zone, you have to do all the zone inside the room. But if you do the partition, will you close it? So if you want to close it, do two zone. To more simply to do this one, do just two zone. One is next to other. So at least if you want to do now another zone is sharing with these walls. Just press the zone like here. After that, you can construct another wall or another roof, another room. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this one will come later because actually at the first stage now we're doing just the planar surfaces. So uh, to be more simple, uh, later we can see how we can design it. Because later we can go directly just to design the walls. He will ask you what the walls, the thickness of the walls, materials of the walls will be later for these things. Now we just want to cover. After that we come. I think it will be soon. So now just sharing in the one, as I mentioned now, they have a sharing one wall. So if you want to increase all the, the height of this one, retain back to the same concept as a code to the extrusions. After that, you can go to the six, I think six, that was before, six meters. See, oh, it's more than the six. Now, if you want to open a door between them, it's so easy. If you want to put a window between them, it's so easy. So we can go at this side, select. After that, you can insert. So you want a door, you want window. So you can say for window. So me can see it so easily. I will do a simple window. No need to become or more accurate. Close this one. Go to visualize, and you can see that's mean I can see the window is inside. See, the window is already inside. So already, if you want to open the door, you can open the door. Now they directly they're sharing the wall. So no need for more complicated. So easy to use the ecotect. So actually, this one for the selection information, zone management. Now, uh, actually, if you want to do also the part, if you want to cover about the do the roof. If you want to to cover the room with a different type of the roof, from the flat roof to the pitch roof, or different kind of the roofs. So you can just select the type of the roof that you want to use. This one, you can see. Just below the zone, you can press the roof, and actually you can just draw and select the area of the roof. After you select this one, we'll show on the other side, the right side, show you what the type of the roof that you want. So when you put, when you press on this, and you can see a lot of the roofs you can do it. Is spiral, is a hip roof, is a gable roof, is just a dome, different kind of roofs. So if I want to go to the pitch roof, so after the pitch roof, you can see what's what the direction of the pitch roof. That's mean exercise or on the Y size, uh, the eaves depth, all the information you can key in and can get it. So after, if I want to do this one, press this. After that, I can say create new object. So directly now I have the roof because I already I selected the pitch roof. If I want this roof from the different side, this one is taken for X's for X uh, exercise. So I want to do for the Y size. So I just delete this one. I do the other one, but with the change the x to the y. After that, I do this one. I do okay. Just press create new object. Okay, I think. Okay, okay to this one. After that, go. J x to y. That's create new object. You can see. I change direction of this one. And actually, if you want to play with. Uh, the dimensions or the, sh uh, the shape of the roof, you can just use the method of pump notes. You know the notes that's in any objects when you're doing, there's a note. So for example, if I press to this one, and in any any side, you can see just press here, you can see there's a note. So if I go, 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 there, zoom, zoom, more, zoom, zoom, you can see there's a point. So if I press to this point, double click, I can press Z, is go with the same direction Z to up. I can change to the X, can change the X, and can go to the Y. 
So you can play with your roof so easily, and you can fix it. Not so difficult. So if case, that means we are accepted this one. Go to the visualize part and can see that our roof is like this because it's just one roof. So we are, I think it's better to dealing with this one. Go with the visualize and can see one part just of the wall. Actually, also you can on the roof add the windows or skylights, or you can add the holes. So now if you want to sharing between the zone of the roof and the zone of the room, just to press at any side of the roof, like this one, and I think, uh, okay. Any side also the same like, okay. Press insert, you can see your window, and also the window can be set in at this area. Say yes. After that, go visualize part. Oh, sorry. I think because there's some something wrong with this one. Because I changed with this one. I think there's a lot of the roof that can be generated on this side. That creates. Inserts window. Actually, did this one before. I'm not sure if I can use this one. Actually, I can do this. I'm not sure until now. So we can move to go to another topic about the about the building materials. So actually. For the building materials, is a quite of different things because we are doing with the physics parts. The thing, physics part, uh, parts, actually physics properties for any materials, actually is different from the modeling of the model or doing the model inside the model because you have to key in a lot of information about the solar radiation, U value, about the conductivity, specific heat. But actually, if you want to do all this, all the information you can get it inside. The ecotect. There's a lot of libraries inside the ecotect can do this one. So I want to do something so simple. We don't want to make it complicated. Complicated. So we'll delete this one. No, I think that let's delete this one. Yes, and there is this part. So when you delete it, there's a leave. What? Okay. Actually, we turn back to do with our normal model. So, if you want to go, the materials actually, material design is the third tab from the right side. The third type, actually, you can go to the list and just to press here, and can you see a lot of different materials or different elements can cover by the ecotect? You can see from the void, roof, floor, ceiling, walls, partitions, a lot of them. So from this type, if you want to know what's the materials that's using the Ecotech, because now we are constructed the model inside the Ecotech, directly the software will uh, insert some uh, materials so as a base. So later you can change this one. So if now if we want to, I just go to the third tab. If I want to know what's the materials that now the Ecotech use it, I just go to the any wall, press on the wall, I can see directly here. The, this wall or the walls that's using a break temper frame. Actually, you can see there's a lot of different materials. You can see you can def, you can change it to like see, this one is um, uh, double break cavity plaster. Just you have to press twice on this one. After you want to do this, uh, okay. After you do this one, we can go to see all the properties of the materials. So the properties, the layers, the acoustics, all this will affect. So most important things in our th design for thermal, daylighting, or shading, we go to this part. This part is so important. That's what I mentioned before is the physics part. It's the main about the U value, uh, advent uh, this advantage and solar absorption, visible transmittance, thermal decrement, thermal lag, thickness, and the weight, and the color, and the emissivity. All this is so important. These has it will change depend on the materials, so not just on one materials. That's mean if you do it like with the, with the walls. So the simple things we can do it with the wall, just a brick wall. 
Actually, the Ecotect has a lot uh, variety of the elements for brick walls, for concrete block, concrete brick, a lot of these things. But actually, all this has a different thickness. Here in Malaysia, also they have a different thickness. You cannot have following the standard one. So it will give you, provide you with all the information that we can see now with second tab is layers. So for the double brick cavity plaster, we can see that wall is consists of different materials. The materials is a brick masonry medium, air gap brick masonry medium, plaster building or molded only. So this is so important. Actually, the Ecotech, uh, the very good of the Ecotech things that can touch the student with the building materials, not just the materials, the type of the materials, everything if you want to do it. So now, actually, the width is uh, mentioned about the thickness here. So the brick masonry is around 110. Actually, it's around 10 here in Malaysia. They use a different. Actually, it's the bent. If you want to use the cavity, here's actually it's a 50. So it's the difference between the walls that cover with the plaster. Because I think the plaster or the cover the walls, the brick wall with the plaster, total will be around, I think, 115? 115, I think, yeah. But just alone for the brick will be around 100 millimeter, the thickness. So the important things on the Ecotech is just focusing on the thickness, not about all the size of the, of the materials, of the brick. Because the brick, you know, there's a breadth, there's a width, there's a height. Actually, we're looking for just for the thickness. So the thickness is so important. If you know all these things, you can key in the information. So when you key in the information, you have to understand this. If you're doing with different materials like the foam concrete, or doing with the block, or different with the brick, with the, you can say, stucco, or different things, you can see a lot of the things will be changed. Like for example there for the density. So if they see the density for the brake machinery is around 2000 kg per meter cubic. But for the air gap is different. For the plaster building is also different. The density is so important to do it with a the thermal analysis. And the specific heat also and the conductivity. So the conductivity is the ability or the property of the material to conduct the heat. So this one's so important. So if you now see there's a different different values of the conductivity, you see. All these will play later when you do the thermal analysis. So later maybe you can go and do, at the first I say, it's so easy you can generate a lot of information from Ecotech, but after you generate the information and anyone asks you, what's this information, how can you get it? Do you understand what's the main factors that affect on the design of the model? Actually the first time you cannot know anything. So you should know everything about the material properties. Because there's a lot now of the, uh, for the, uh, studying for the postgraduate for PhD or master, they just focusing on these things. Just how can they change the density, change the conductivity, or change the others to get the new materials that's helping to support to get to reach to the green uh, green building or green ener uh, energy efficient? Because all these will play an important role for the thermal analysis. So all these things. So actually, we'll not be uh, so confused for that here. I actually the. Um, the Ecotech provide a lot of the uh, a lot of the library for the materials. So for the wall, you can get different materials like the brick cavity. You can see here is a different also for brick. Uh, actually, I cannot see so clear. Yeah, concrete block plaster, brick plaster, and actually also you can see at this the visualization side. You can see when you change the materials of the walls, it will be changed. So that means if you go to the this materials, say from this side is the outside. Uh, from this one, the inside. So the order to put all the materials is like this. So if I press the second one, you see the second. So from top is outside, below is the inside. When you put the order, because later you can do the manage all the thermal uh, or do manage all the materials design. So actually, you can see there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. So at, if you want to do simple things for you, I want to do a, a design for the walls. It's different. It's not here. Regarding to want to regard to the materials that you're using now in Malaysia, actually you can add elements or add material. So you can go at this part is add a new element. But before you add a new element, you have to rename. So I say the break. Just normal break. Okay, okay, say a break. And after that, say add a new element. So you can see the break now is add on this side. When I add this one, it's already on the last or previous layers. 
So I should delete, I have to delete all these uh, layers and start to construct my layer now. So for the layers that you want to do, you can go for the layers top and you select the different type of the materials. So the air gaps, cavity, and the, for the glass or something like this. So if you want to go for the break, you can go to the masonry, I think, and stone. I'm not sure. This. Yeah, brick. So we can ch choose what type of the brick. You want lightweight brick, limestone, I want heavyweight. So lightweight, you can just bring it or drag it down. You can see it already here. This one you want to cover it with a plaster. So plaster, we can go to the paint and finishes. You want to do it with a paint. You want to do it with a, actually with a plaster, with a cement. Okay. Really? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So cement plaster, you can also drag it. You can see we have two materials now here. Here you can say calculate the thermal properties. So I just press the calculate thermal properties. It will ask you to do that the U value of the admissions is already done, but the thermal decrements with weights has been, that's so the width and weight have been updated. However, the thermal lag value is not calculated. Actually, just the thermal lag. The thermal lag, that's mean of, is the thermal mass. So when you're doing the, um, uh, the factor of the, about the thermal mass, it's so important because we'll be delay for the time from outside to inside. So it's supposed to be the outside, the temperature will be around 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. But inside the room will be the maximum temperature will reach around 4 o'clock. This means the conduction of the heat take 4 hours, sorry, from the uh, 1 to the 4, 3 hours, take 3 hours to reach to that level. This means effect on the room temperature. So will be this one. You have to calculate it by this one. So uh, actually, because we don't have a lot of time, we are going to move to another part. Actually, the part you can actually see the, the from the right side, you can see also about the, uh, the tabs for display setting, what type of display setting that you want to use. So this one will be effect on the, if you want to change the grid size, decrease the grid size, you want to do with the ground floor, this one uh, ground plan or compass, you see, or you want a 3D background, 3D background like this one. Okay, so you can understand more about the, the effect of the program. Actually, there's a lot of things you can also do with it. We go the visualization part. Visualization part, this one is relating more with this part. This from if you want to go to the other part or the other type from the left side is the visualize. So the visualize you can see here. This one you can use a different type of render. So technical. From here you can see the sketch effect. You can see sketchy or the pencil sketch, or you want to say fuzzy sketch, or different kind, it's so important, so so easy. You can see, change the color if you feel more comfortable, because I think for the, most of the AutoCAD using with the white background will be more effect on the eyes. So if you want using with a black one, black background will be so easy, you can use it. Actually, if you want to turn back to the technical, uh, okay, technical part. So the most important things you can do with visualization, you can do the transparency, Transparency, when you just tick this, you can play with the transparency of the material, of the room. This one will be important later when you're doing the solar radiation with the daylighting, with all these things. And the most important things also you do it, you can do, actually this one, the fog, if you want to do more foggy. This one, or the important things is the cutaway. Cutaway this later, we can see the effect of the sun rays inside the building, or the shading inside the building depend on this one. So for the cut, for the cutways, you can select any side. You want the X side, Y side, or Z size. And after that, you can also play with the height. You can see what the section that you want to use it. And a lot of things also, I think, because I just want to rush to cover these topics. After that, you go to the shadow setting. Shadow setting, now you want to understand the position of the sun. So I got the setting, do it with the ground plan, okay. So we're doing with the sun position. After we download the information about the KL, now we can know that the position of the sun on the, on the room, this one, will be just for the KL one. So following the, I don't know, they're doing with the sun path, the sun path. So if I want to go to the sun path now, I go to the calculation, okay. 
uh, go clay to the sunpad diagram. You can see from the sunpad diagram here, this one is for KL. And actually, it cover all directions, all the year. North and side, west, east, and south, all directions. And when you change the time, the sound will be also changed. Actually, in the Ecotech, they cover a lot different type of projections, or different type of projections. So you can see the spherical one. You can see, uh, I think the coincidence, yeah. Stereographic, uh, BRE, and orthographic, Waldron, and tulip, uh, tubular. Tubular, actually, this one, you can get the solar azimuth and solar altitude. If you get the solar altitude of azimuth in your classes, this one will be important because here we can mention about the different times can see the time for the solar and the local different. And this will affect also in doing the shading things. So after that, now we have our room here. We see the direction for the north. So now our window, if you can see the, now the north in this direction, window is now in the east side, and the door is on the south side. So now when I want to do, do the say, uh, daily sun path. So go to that, the shadow setting, setting after that go, Daily sun path. Daily sun path actually is a four different time of the day and for the month. So you can here change from the from April to you can say for August. It's gonna be change. So if you want to see from this one, it change. November change. October, September. See that's mean. Okay, if you go to the September, you see the B from one from the from sunset to sunrise in the same same axis. So all the September will be in this place. So if you want to show the shadowing to understand more about this one, you can go to so display shadow. So on display shadow go for the for July's I think will be more. Yeah. So you can see now if I change the time for one o'clock, you can see the shadow will be changed. Go to for uh, this one two or three. 4 p.m. You can see the effect of the shadow all the time. Actually, if we want to change from September, we want to go to that December. See? The axis has been changed. This one will be more powerful. You can see, understand more about the shading. So now you can see, and you can design also, and you do also for the urban design and doing a lot of the buildings. It will be so important for this one. So actually, also, you can see from the, for annual, after that I press from his, this place, I tick. You can see this, the annual sum path. The annual sum path, if I want to turn back to do with a calculation and read about that, so I, I think it's better to go to the plan. And this one, the sum path. So I return back to the sum path, as we know that if you can read the sum path, here, this one is the, all the degrees or the angles for the azimuth. And will be in the middle, if you want to go to the sun path diagram. Okay, with the stereographic. Okay, this one, because this one, the spherical one. He chain. Okay, stereographic. You can understand this azimuth. And this one, latitude angles. This one is for the time, all these lines, for, like I explained, for 9 a.m., 3 a.m., of something like this, and this one for the dates. So the same concept, you can apply in the ecotect, and you can see here. So in November will be on this side, so November will be on this axis. If I want to change the November to the April, will be in different axis. So this one, now if I play from the time, actually you can see also here the time. Is the 15, now 15.30. So if I change from 15.30 to 30, 12, 30, you can see the different. And at 11, at 10, at all these things, again, the effect of the solar positions. To understand more the effect of the solar position inside the, inside the building, there's a lot of things you can check it with a shadow setting, but the important things you have to go to choose like one of the parts that you want just to be shaded. Not all the buildings are supposed to be shaded. So there is a part to say, okay, shaded. There is a button, so you can press. You After you select the floor, Ground floor, you can go to select shaded. After that, select the object. So now the object is just for this part. So if I want to now do the sun path, and I go to, okay, zoom more. 
So now, if I change the direction of the sun, you can see the sun now can come inside this area. If now I want to change, see. So during the day will be from, like I say, from nine, from nine, this area will be, and, and this area just will be overshadowing, but this area will be not under sun. But if you change the time, will move. So we can understand. If you change the months, also you can see. If you change the months for that, uh, this one, August, change to the September, you can see the effect inside the, the model. So if you want to understand also more, to be clear, we can know what's the effect of the solar rays. Because now I just understand the overshadowing. But to be more clear to doing with the sun rays. Sun rays, that's mean what? Now I was just this. Also, the ref return to the same place, that's mean the shaded area or the reflector. So I change the ground floor from shaded to reflector. So I go to the ground floor, just go there. Okay. After that, shade it, I will remove. After that, we'll do a reflector. Okay. So when I reflect now about the sun, I will ask me about the solar rays. So I say it, uh, how many of the spacing between the solar rays will be very big. So show solar rays. So now you can see the solar rays. How? If you go to the visualization part, now we go to the perspective. You can see the effect of solar. But we cannot see very clear. We return back to visualization tab. It's here. That's I told you before. How can we use the cut away section? So when cut away the section, I will change it to the axis section or no Y section, but from a different one. Yeah. So I'll change it to this one. Yeah. So now we can understand this part of the day on September, that's mean on the twelfth the will be on this area the sun raises sun rays so if i change the time see no more sun rays if you go to the like screen on 11 on 1st of september you can see a different of so of the sun rays and this come more zoom to this one so you see now at 11 i think i make it more to become more clear so from 5 i will do it 300 can see this one more, and this one 100. So I can see here. Okay. Okay, no problem. How to do or to do the solar rays? Okay, no problem. So when you do the solar rays, at first you have to, okay, go to the editor. After the editor, you can select which part of the of the model that you want to do it because it just will go to the directly on the model. So if you do it the wall, also will be reflected on the wall. So you just want to the ground, because there we have a window. So the sun comes from the window. So actually, we go to the ground floor, go and do it, press the reflector, press on the reflector, select it as object, or tag it selected objects, that's all. After that, we go above to the show the daily sun path. When you do press on the daily sun path, you can see the sun on this side. But until now, we didn't see any rays. Return back below the reflector and the shaded buttons. They have the show solar rays. So you put the spacing of the solar rays around 1 to 100. Actually, more spacing, you can see more clear. So show solar rays because there's a lot. So it will take a long time. Take a time for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, when you do it when the SketchUp is uh, the band, as I mentioned before, you have to do it as a box, close box. Actually, you have, I think you have this uh, SketchUp. So can we import now? And we import it from SketchUp inside the, the inside the Ecotect. But I think it's now that's just stuck. Uh, Oh, so slow.
So in this case, you have to be careful about the number of the spacing that's we're doing with the sun rays because there's a lot of sun rays. So that's mean the computer will be so slow and will stop. So later we can do it again. Open the ecotext. Do the ecotext so fast we can do the any zone. Okay. After that, escape. Say okay. After that, you can go to the levels. Okay, five meters like this one. Choose one of the side that's mean the north and the side. I will choose this one. Insert window. But also we can repeat the same situation. We have to load the weather file data. That's mean KL. Yes. After that, we go again to do with the sun bath. So the sun bath now the same things. So we have to choose the the reflector part. That's mean on the ground floor of uh, ground floor. After that, go to the reflected okay reflector. After that, you select the tag of this object. After that, when you select it, just press the display of the sun path and the rays I think will be 200 is better so you don't have any problem with this one this one okay so when we do the visualization part on these things will be not clear we have to go to this part and do the cutaway so the cutaway press a change from the Y change to the yeah this section okay so now you can see Different of the time, this one in April. If I change it to December. So if I change the time, go to the other side, I think it's better. Yeah. You go to the November, this one. I go to October, September, August, July, June, May. Will be different effect. But actually, the time is different. So if I want to change this one from until 9, you can see. On, on January, Will be the angle will be so low. After that, will be higher. Different, 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 different. Actually, this one, the solar rays, is depend on the materials. So some of the materials they are reflected. So when you do the reflected, is not that we seeing here is just one bounce. So some of the materials they are bouncing more. So we change the number of the bounce if you want to say how many bouncing will happen. For for example, that's mean if our walls is a white as a kind of reflective, not a plaster, or maybe cement plaster, or different types of materials they have the got, or like a mirror, can use it. So we change the bounce from one to two. See, directly you can see there is a bouncing happen. If we change it to three, also you can see, happen up. So it depend on the materials. So this in this case, you can just understand, does mean the effect of the solar rays. So now if I change the time, the solar rays also will change. You can see the effect. Because actually when you're doing with the daylighting, there's a lot of more than one daylight factor. Daylight factor are luminous, internally reflected, externally reflected. All this will affect inside the model. So as I mentioned before, that the Ecotech has the ability to explain more about the daylight. So this one at the first, if, this, if we get in the same month at November, but we change the date, we'll have also different. So all these things will be different. Actually, this part is just to show how can the solar rays will affect. But if you're using the uh, shading device, also will play another our important role. So doing the shading device, actually the the Ecotect can calculate the shading device, but it will give you actually a monster of shadings because you will take the time from early morning until the night, or can actually you can do it by specific time. But it's not appropriate, so you cannot use it. So if you want to use it as a shading, we return back to the simple things. As I mentioned before, we have the points, we have the lines, we have the plan, we have the horizontal. So we're dealing with the plan. So if I say the plan, I go to the, actually I go to the model, above the window, select this one, and actually give any date for this one, like this, and I close it, yes. Sorry. So the plan be here. This side. Okay, this one's okay, no problem. Oh. Okay, so I have to do it by another way. So when you do it the plan, 
actually here. You have to change the view to the front view. No, actually, oh, the view to the side. Oh, because already we got this one is different. Okay, so that we view the front or for the plan. Yeah, so this part. Yes, I think is okay, no problem. Perspective, okay, when you go to visualize part, you can see it is working as a shading. So when the shading and apply the daily sun path and playing with the time, you can see the effect of the shading. So if we use the shading is more like pimping the, all the notes, like in this side, okay, I think display the shadow here will be more clear. So if they're pimping like this one and do the exercise, you can see, I'm playing now with the size of the shading device. So you can say how much of the overshadowing has been done. So if I change it actually to use with Y, no. Okay. So do it with the X. Yeah, this one X. This one with Y. You can see if I change this one. So if I this shift. So now we are designing with this one design different type of the shades and these shades will affect so you have to understand when you're doing the shadings because this one would be better than doing the shading through the ecotect you have to know what's the time that means you see so critical in the especially in the Kuala Lumpur which month which dates which uh, I can say will be important to we want to show that's been the effect of the solar uh, rays or the solar radiation on the building or the Sunday say I don't want to cover it, want to open it. So it depends on the designer itself. And actually the overshading is, uh, or the shading device is not actually for the external. You can do it internally. Internally they do it with the glass. Now a lot of the companies for the glass design, they change their systems and are they using new methods to uh, protect the sol from the solar radiation. Because as we know the solar radiation is, uh, the light is a part of solar radiation. So when the light or the solar radiation strike the glass, will be change the, uh, the wavelength and the frequency of this radiation from higher to the lower. So when you change the lower, will become the heat. So now all the, now the, all the design that do it, they actually put in the, uh, the, in the glass different materials will be reflective. So when you do reflective, you reflect a lot of the solar radiation will reflect, those mean will reduce the amount of the heat. Actually this one can cover for different uh, topic about the thermal analysis. But this is the most important can understand about the shading. And uh, actually also I want to see, okay, if I want to go to other things to show more about the solar rays and louvers, because louvers are so important, so go to solar rays. Yeah. So the, this one will become more complicated, but at first we started with the simple things so everyone can understand. So this one on the louver, this actually has been uh, uh, uploaded, I think, so, or taken important from the rivet, because all the design they do it by, by rivet, or you want to do it by SketchUp, or you want to do it by other, uh, other things. Actually, this one, just to show you how can you use it. So as if you want to show the effect of the solar rays, and want to show the effect also, that's me for so I'll load the climb data for KL. Say okay. okay. See, totally different. Now on October, okay, I change what this one's better. You can see the effect of the shading devices on different months of the year will be different. So if you want to do the actually the solar rays, this one will be so important to understand to know how much the louvers of the, the shading devices outside they can provide. So I do this one, okay. Click June. You can see here, okay, on December. I'll uh, we'll do the time, this one will be at 10, okay. So that's me, you can see how much the effect of the louvers that can protect the room from inside to any effect, say on December, 
on October, on September, no more. So see some kind of the bouncing will happen. See that's the effect of the solar rays when you're doing the shading devices. So now here you can understand, is the room is more protected from the solar rays? Is it more protected for, for shading or something like this? Now in this topic you can understand also in your tech can cover a lot of things. Actually, also we can understand if you do the section part, change the month. So just so in December, different dates, no light. So no direct light, no I mean no light, no direct light. The diffused light that can come from outside. But actually the diffused light is a, nat is a natural light, but is not content a lot of the heat. So they come kind of a cold light because it's uh, diffused and it actually come from reflected or something like this. But if you get the sun directly to you, well, if it's so hot. So this one, you can model also inside the design. Uh, actually, also, if you want to understand, uh, because I don't have there's a time, can we finish or not if you want to cover the other topics? I think it's so busy. <laughs> okay, if you go to the, for the daylighting, I'll go directly to show how is the, the ecotext can be so good and show a lot of things. So, actually, if you want not to know, that's mean the architect. Okay, I just want to show the whole total building. Okay. <laughs> actually, this is the buildings. So I couldn't find any wall of building. Can see. So in this building, there is this. Uh, some place is just for, actually just for skylight. So in this one that he did just, he want to know the effect of the daylighting that go through this one. Actually I want to show where's the daylight. Yeah, this one, the skylight. So from the top of the skylight, you can see he just measured this area. We can measure this area and know how much of effect of the daylighting. So daylighting levels in this place. I actually go to the management because I do, uh, man, uh, actually for the analysis of grid, we can uh, play with it and see which area will be have a different values and which area have a little va less values for this one. So I don't know if you can cover this one to show how this one. Actually, if you want to know more, actually the Ecotech is um, power can show you if you want to do it by 3D. You can see. By the 3D, you can understand more the effect of the building. You can see here what the time or which level got a lot of daylighting or got a lot of luminous compared to different levels. Because as we see now, they got a light from up this part. So near to the skylight, actually will be a lot of the effect of the luminous will be so high and the daylight factor will be high. When you go down, 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 it will be so far away from this one, will be more cooler. So this one can show how the ecotext can reflect all these things and make it more, more I can say, more easier to understand the effect of, of it. So if, uh, I don't know if you want to do any design with the, any design with the daylighting. Actually, daylighting also we can return back to do Different thing, different zone. This will be so easy. You can play with it anytime, anything. Can okay, so okay and change the. Okay, I think this one to fuse. Okay. So insert, can insert, insert the window. So easy. Just want to for to understand. I mean, so actually download the same. You have to download the KL. Out. Oh, I have to do it again, sorry. Actually, sometimes the Ecotech to find some uh, crashes that will happen, so you have to close it. So this one, it's already crushed. I don't know if you can do this one.
So again, we'll do the same procedure, same as we did before. Actually, this won't be so important, but just I want to mention about the how can the daylight factor can affect inserts, like say when, sorry, insert. Whoa, this one. Window. It's okay, we can have a big window here. Yes, escape. And we download the, this one. Okay, no problem. Now we want to do the analysis for daylighting. Actually, after we, s we did everything the first, that's meaning we choose the materials, we understand the effect of the sunlight or everything. Now we want to know how much of the daylight factor will be 